There's another little doggy. There are plenty of dogs out here. <laughs> See, Precious? There are plenty of doggies walking around. Hey guys, it's a beautiful Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And Precious and I are out in Wesley Chapel, of course, back at one of our old stopping grounds. And that is none other than the Groves, right off of Highway 56. It's an outdoor shopping mall. And it's a beautiful hot day. With puffy clouds and hot sun. Got the choo choo train coming. Perfect timing. There's a lot more people here just about an hour ago, but it's about three o'clock or so. And I guess people came in, did what they had to do, and they're taking off, or they're in the stores. <laughs> But now I see more people walking around. Right, Precious? <laughs> hey guys, we're just chilling like a villain in the shade. And we came under this place. It wasn't here the last time I was here. It's nicely protected from the sun. Just something for people to do. Precious decided to relieve herself and had to clean it up and I had some water and I spilt it all over the stuff and before I could get to it a little boy walked right in it oh lord a little cute little almost two year old anyway I tried to beat him to it <laughs> and she's enjoying the sun the people the shade Here. Yeah, here are the people. Have you ever tried to clean up your dog's mess in public before anybody came and they stepped into it? Stepped smack right in it while you were trying to hurry up and beat them to the punch so that wouldn't happen. I had napkins and a plastic bag, but I had to walk away to get them. And come back. That's so sad. I felt so bad. There's another little doggy. There are plenty of dogs out here. <laughs> See, Precious? There are plenty of doggies walking around. Checking each other out. <laughs> Guys, funny thing happened. I didn't capture it because I thought it would be a little bit intrusive, but. I didn't even ask him, but he said he would join and subscribe, so that would be 171 subscribers at least. Um, a young man by the name of Shamara from Jamaica while I was in the court, food court, he sat next to me of all the places with a beautiful, uh, almost three-year-old little girl, cute little blue and white sundress, sundress on. And we started talking and I prayed for him as I was led by the Spirit. Um, he knew about the ministry and his family. He knew God he wanted him to do more things while he's here in the States. I invited him to my church in Newport Richie, but it was too far because he didn't know where it was. Way, um, you know, I just had a word from the Lord. You know. And he knew a lot about the word, and I could tell. And I knew that there was ministry in his family and his lineage and his bloodline, and that it was 
it's his time to come forward. And I kept calling him Sean. He said he had a little brother named Sean who was in ministry as well. He was an actor. He was 33 years old when I met Jamara and his brother's name was Sean. And I just told him what the Lord said to move forth with power and anointing and world, no matter what's going on in your life and in your life. He's a forgiver man. That's why he's a man and although we fall short as humans, he forgives us for really. him. So that was pretty cool. So we have that, um, what we call a supposed to happen meeting. It wasn't a mistake that he sat next to me out of all the places and he said the same thing with his phone. And um, network came forth and so we prayed and talked and we went on and exchanged numbers and we will find contact. But if not, we are still going to keep in contact away in the spirit. So that's always encouraging to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and what He wants us to say to encourage people. And have you ever been there in public? Because your heart to know what needs to be right, what needs to be what is needs to be right, what needs to be right. Drop a comment below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are an inspiration with Tony and Precious. We'll talk to you soon. I've shown this video previously probably almost a year ago now when I was here. And it just reminds me of the scripture. Their Old Testament and New Testament drinking from the fountain of life. Behold, I'll do a new thing, says the Lord. Shall you not know it? I'll make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now shall it spring forth. Isn't that awesome? I guess I get a spiritual meaning out of most things I see because I spend time in prayer and in the Word, and meditating. And that's what we need to do these days. We live in some precarious times, but thank the Lord for His Word. Lord knows I've been talking about going to Auntie Anne's for a long time. I just haven't gone. But it sounds so inviting, but I'm going to resist temptation. Those pretzel things look good and they smell so Mmm, the sugar wafting through the air. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to resist. Such temptation as the sun starting to bow its head in the west. <laughs> Auntie Anne's is sounding like it's the best, but like I said, I'm going to yield not to temptation. Trust me, I am. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up our little tour here on Father's Day. I hope and pray that if you have your father, or if he's gone on with the Lord, or if you never knew him, you do have your Heavenly Father, and he loves you. <laughs> so don't feel rejected or dejected. I had two fathers. My biological father, who was married to my mom, and then she married again, and my dad, Herman Edwards, who raised us. Eugene Milton Tucker, who was my father. That's where the name Tucker comes from. It's still that last name, of course. And also my granddad, William Love. So he's they're all with the Lord. And I thank God for all the disciplines and love and teachings I've gotten from all of them. And you should thank your fathers or whoever is the role model in your life as a male figure. Even if it's not a biological father or a stepdad or any guardian or anyone who has taken the time to tell you how to live and teach you values and character and morals, that is a blessing. So let them know you love them. Even if you had a falling out, give them a phone call. Get over yourself and let them know you love them. And this is our day here at the Groves and Wesley Chapel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And Precious and I will see you soon. Say, Precious. There you go. Take care.